Steady from the bottom, now we're here. Steady from the bottom, now the whole team fucking here. God, I'm so sexy-licious. Who doesn't want this? Ha, nobody. So I'm not giving it to anyone because I'm the only one special enough to hog these booties. <laughs> Why you should learn to love yourself. There are a lot of people in the world, but there is only one of you. It's easy to fall in love with a celebrity or someone that you aspire to be, someone that you find attractive or interesting, someone that you think is too good for you. Well, in a way they might be, but not in the way that you think. There's a reason that you're head over heels for them and they don't seem to notice you. It's because that person learned to love someone else, themselves. If somebody is in love with themselves, does that make them conceited? Sure, I mean, yes, there are cases where someone can be so self-centered and so narcissistic that it makes me want to drive an ax into my face. But some people love themselves just enough to live happily. And the shitty reality remains that most people don't. A lot of people in our culture need to work towards loving themselves because we've been taught to love everything but ourselves. We've been taught to love toys and machines and devices and other people, celebrities, beautiful people, beautiful things. We've been taught to love everything else but us. No wonder there's so many murders and people just out to destroy something, people that want to destroy themselves, or people that are just so depressed that they can't live. It has gotten so bad that people rely on other people to kind of fill the void of love that they should have for themselves. So many people try to find someone else that is right for them that will make them happy. That's not what you're supposed to do. I mean, yeah, sure, there are people out there that should be able to come into your life and make you feel something that you haven't felt before, something that is amazing, something that fills your heart with warmth. But you shouldn't be an empty shell waiting for someone else to come in and fill everything because that will just be too burdensome on the couple and it will eventually end because you have nothing to give. You just take, take, and take because that's what you've learned your entire life. You've been brought up to believe that the only way you can achieve happiness is by getting things. Instead of trying to get things, you should be trying to achieve things. You shouldn't be trying to find someone that's right for you. You should be trying to find a life that's right for you. Find out what you love to do and do it and do it over and over and over and do everything you can to get better at it. Stop buying things that you think will improve your life because you have something that you didn't have before and start trying to improve yourself as a human being. That is where true confidence comes in. And that is when other people start to notice it. And that is when you start to build up more confidence because other people aspire to be you. Just know that nobody has their entire life figured out. Unless you were a person born with a life like Will Smith's kid, I mean, I wonder what he's gonna do. There will come a day when it seems like the entire world is against you. It may be today, it may be 10 years from now. When your friends are off doing other things and they don't have time for you, and your parents are sick of you. When your pet pisses on your carpet just because it knows you feel like shit and it wants to put you down even more. When everything is going awry, there will always be that one person that will be able to lift you up from that hole of shit that you're in. And no, it's not God. It's not the police departments. It's not the fire departments. It's not some make-believe angel that will come out of nowhere whenever you feel like crap. It's you. And most people would answer by saying nobody. It's as if the ability to help yourself has completely disappeared. I mean, you know that you're a person, right? You know that you're someone. You know that you're not just a floating pair of eyeballs. You have an entire body that is capable of so many different things. People think that it's weird when other people talk to themselves. It's not weird. There hasn't been a single person that has lived with a functioning brain that hasn't talked to themselves. Especially when times get tough. You can help yourself better than anybody else can. Sure, there will be times when other people can help you, but in the end, it is your decisions that will help you the most. You need to be your own best friend. If you're against yourself, no one can help you. You need to love yourself, but not in that conceited, weird way when someone stands in front of a mirror and oils up their pecs like, Mmm, I'm the hottest piece of mad meat you'll ever see! Oh yeah, I'm so sexy that girls melt. Literally, their skin boils and just drapes off of their body because of how sexy I am. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Stop worrying about what other people think about you. I know you've heard that a thousand times, but it's true because everybody is thinking that exact same thing. Every person worries about what other people think about them. I'm not telling you to whip off your pants and run the streets with your dick flapping about, but you know, just 
<laughs> be rational about it. Another thing you should keep in mind is to never compare your behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reel. Meaning if you're a girl and you just got out of the shower and you look at yourself in the mirror, you should never compare yourself to what you look like there to a picture of Emma Watson on the cover of a magazine. You will always look like trash in comparison. I promise you. And that's not because you're an ugly person. It's because Emma Watson had professionals doll her up so she looks absolutely stunning. And after those professionals doll her up so she looks like a goddess, they take those pictures and then they Photoshop them so she looks even more appealing. And then they put them on the cover of a magazine. When you stare at that magazine, you're not looking at a human being. You're looking at the image of a human being that was crafted in someone else's mind so they could make more money. Not to say that Emma Watson isn't absolutely gorgeous, because if I saw her on the side of the street, I'd probably pounce on her like the panther I am. What I'm trying to say is that you are only as good and as pretty as you think you are. If you've got a problem with your eyebrows, your teeth, your stomach, anything, it's because you were taught to hate those things about yourself. You were raised in a society that shows you that you need to be a certain way. I'm telling you to punch society in the face. And to be completely honest, there's a unique power that people get when they stand up against the things that people are supposed to be. You want to know how I know? Lady Gaga. She's famous, she's rich, she's famously rich. She has 36 million followers on Twitter and she looks absolutely ridiculous most of the time. And when I say ridiculous, I mean that in the best way possible. I mean, compared to what we all view as the normal look, she looks like a human version of a peacock. And peacocks are some badass birds, okay? And she might just be one of these awesome birds. You wanna know why? She showed up to the 2011 Grammys in a huge fucking egg. So in conclusion, love yourself and the right people will learn to love you.